When it comes to RV repair and upgrades, many RV owners wonder, can I fix my RV myself? Hello, I'm Stephen Holmes, Director of Service Operations for Keystone RV Company. We know your time is valuable, and we understand the cost associated with bringing your travel trailer or your fifth wheel to your dealership for repairs. That's why as a manufacturer, we're sharing our RV Pro tips in a series of DIY RV videos for those of you that might want to tackle the simple stuff yourself. Remember to always use caution, and if at any time you are uncomfortable, please stop what you're doing and schedule an appointment with your authorized dealership. Even more importantly, never work on any safety-related items. Welcome to another episode of RV Pro Tips. I'm Charles Briggs, and today we will be discussing how to replace the interior trim in your RV. The tools for this job will be a pin nailer with one inch pin nails, a putty stick, trim shears, a pin nail punch, putty if applicable, and a hammer should you choose to use finishing nails. The first step is to remove the old piece of trim. You can use a putty stick or a flathead screwdriver if preferable. Just use caution when using a flathead screwdriver to not damage the wall panel material. Gently work the trim free from the pin nails that hold it in place. Do this at every pinhole location. When pulling the trim free from the wall, pin nails may be pulled free as well and stick out the other side. It is important to be aware of these so you do not injure yourself when discarding the trim. At this point, we can either remove the pin nails or use a hammer to tap these flush so that the new piece of trim can lay flat. Let's install the new piece of trim. While there is no set way you have to go by when attaching trim, it is best to start at which end will be the easiest. With the old piece of trim, lay it on top of the new piece and push both ends together. Now at the end that you're wanting to remove, you will leave one extra inch available to trim off when installing. Setting the trimmed off end flush to the floor, allow your trim to run vertical with the seam you are trying to cover. Once the desired location is reached, place two one inch 18 gauge pin nails in the trim with your pin nailer. You can also use finishing nails and a hammer here to help hold it in place. Now using one hand to secure the seam about halfway up the wall, use your pin nailer to secure every eight to 10 inches. So once you've reached this point, now we'll need to trim the top to make sure it fits under the other flat trim. With the trim flat to the wall, use your trim shears to mark where the trim should lay. Place the trim shears horizontal and cut the excess material off. It is a good idea to cut a little long the first time to be sure of a good fit. Use your pin nailer to finish attaching the trim. Remember to space the pin nails eight to 10 inches apart. If you find any high pin nails, once you've completed the trim install, you can use a pin nail, and a a pin nail punch and a hammer to tap those in place. By doing this, you will now be able to add putty later to give it a more complete finished look. And there you have it. If you have an idea for a DIY video you would like to see, please leave us a comment. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more RV Pro tips or visit our webpage under how-tos. Thanks for watching.